Okay, so here's an interesting device. And what it is, is um, a virtual reality headset. And it works with uh, the uh, tablets and for uh, probably mostly phones. Probably a little bit too small to do tablets. And so it's based on the. Um, so this device is uh, based on the old stereoscopes where they put a picture, <coughs> one picture for each eye, and then uh, it will appear in 3D since you're looking at the picture from different angles. They'll have a, a pic picture with a camera taken from one angle and a picture with a camera taken from a different angle. And then your brain will interpret that as a 3D image, even though it's just two, two uh, pictures taken at different angles. And uh, this device is kind of neat. It has a little focusing thing so you can't see. But basically, the fo how it's done with the, the uh, tablets or the phone is it creates two pictures. And uh, let's take a look here. And uh, those two pictures are combined together. Let's try the dinosaur one. And those two pictures are combined together to uh, form a, a single image because you're, you're just looking at one picture and the other picture. <coughs> Get this thing loaded up. And uh, Jurassic Virtual Reality. Well, let's continue on with the tour though. So, this device has little adjustment things here so you can adjust the focus by so you can slide it forward and back, and that slides the, the focus of the lens so you can get each, each individual lens focused. And then uh, if, you, if you need to slide the, the lens back and forth on the image, if it's not in the right spot, you can slide each of these lenses individually back and forth like that. So it's kind of a neat contraption. We got it uh, free at Dave & Buster's. It wasn't really free, but it cost a lot of tokens. Um, so here is where it has a slide-out compartment here. and this thing will uh, basically accept different phones. Okay, here's here's our game. It's up. The VR mode. Okay, so see, there's two different images there, and it these uh, eye pieces here will focus so that you will just you won't see the. Uh, the split down the middle, you just see two separate images focused into your eye, and it looks like a single image that's in 3D. And um, so you can take your your phone and stick it into this little holder thing here. And this one's actually a little bit thicker than the other one, so it doesn't fit as well, but you can kind of force it in. And then that goes into the device here. Actually, I'm flip it over because this side is thicker. This is a, actually a Google, Google tablet. Tap to start. Okay, virtual reality mode. We'll get it all set up. And then we'll... Oh, did I have it right the first time? Never mind. Okay, so... We get our phone in there. And then we got the slot there. We can slide that into there. And you can see the uh, virtual reality game by looking through these, uh, these image things. There's one on that side, one on that side. And it'll make it appear 3D. Of course, we got to get rid of the volume thing in there. <coughs> and then you just strap this thing up over your head with these straps here. And if you need to adjust things, it has a little handy little uh, trap door in the front, so you can get in there and change the volume or something if you need to. Okay, and it's kind of kind of fun. It's just, I, I think you know what I'm seeing now is that this is kind of like reminds me of what the internet was when it was first starting out. It was kind of in its infancy, and uh, but let's take a look at this game. Now, now there's actually different types of uh, tablets 
and uh, some of the games you can't play on different tablets. Now this one in particular has a gyro in it. It's a Google one and see normally if you have like a regular tablet it wouldn't know if you're rotating around. See how the when you rotate around in the room it's actually looking in different directions and a normal tablet does not have a gyro seems like only the more expensive ones do so I look up and down you know it, it changes your perspective and if I want to travel in different directions I can rotate around the room so you actually need a gyro for that and uh, this is the cheapest one that I found a lot of the older tablet or uh, phones don't have gyros on them so you you have to really look and they don't advertise whether they have a gyro or not a lot so you have to kind of search the, the specs and see if there's a gyro on it so a lot of the phones they just have like tilt things so if you tilt back and forth you can you can play the game like the other game I was uh, looking at with the uh, running the, the maze runner game which is pretty fun but uh, if you want to do 3D stuff where you look around like this in different directions and uh, you really need the gyro so this is how it's controlled you look in different directions and look for the looking for the dinosaurs and there's other ones plank walker and some other games and all the devices are different internally so they it's kind of a, a random crapshoot as to whether whether you, you the particular game that you want to do will work on that tablet or not and so actually I couldn't get for some reason the plank runner game wasn't or plank walker game was not compatible with this particular tablet this is the uh, it's a Google tablet uh, Samsung Google, I guess. And uh, this particular one is uh, one of the cheaper ones. I got it for less than a hundred dollars. I think it was about sixty dollars or something. And uh, it's a got kind of a slow processor in it. It's an older one. But uh, a lot of the other ones that have gyros on them cost like two hundred dollars still, even though they're getting kind of old. But anyway, lots of fun stuff. Something to look for if you want to try to do some virtual reality stuff. And anyway, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.